this here is what I've been waiting for for the past three years, and I hope it's a new laptop and not a used one, but let's find out. So first impressions, it looks pretty sleek. It looks like they've already installed a screen protector on it. But before moving forward, I'm gonna charge it because that's just something that I do whenever I get new tech. Okay, so while the laptop is charging, let me give you some background. So when I first started, I got this 2019 MacBook Pro, which was a 16 inch and had 32 gigabytes of RAM, which I thought was enough for development. But then I soon realized that the application that we're building off of needed way more than 32 gigabytes of RAM to develop locally. And so I requested for a new laptop, but I got denied because I could only refresh my laptop every two years, but they were able to give me a new machine. And so they were able to give me this iMac, which I was able to do most of my development on. You can probably see in my previous videos that I've used this extensively. So I switched from the iMac to this MacBook Pro because a lot of the development I was able to do was through the cloud. And so I didn't need that much RAM to run the application. But that laptop has been giving me some struggles as well because it's been laggy and unresponsive at times. And so it was pretty frustrating to work with. And that's why I've been waiting this long to get a new laptop. And so I'm pretty excited to really switch from my old laptop to this laptop to make my work a little bit more enjoyable. This is the 16 inch MacBook Pro Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM. First impressions, it looks really nice. There's something nice about the Retina display, but it looks like they added this security screen protector. So the display doesn't look as nice as it could be. This is the exact MacBook that I've been looking for for my own personal use. I've been wanting to get the M4 MacBook Pro because I've been doing a lot of video editing using a lot of software that requires a lot of RAM. And so let me show you guys the MacBook that I have now. So yeah, this is my daily driver. This is the 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro. I got this when I graduated college back in 2021. And I've used this for so many things. I remember doing tons of lead code on this when I was applying for jobs, as well as applying for job applications. And um, I did some video editing on here as well. So it does hold some sentimental value, but with the current workload that I have now, I think it's time for me to put this aside and upgrade to the M4. I got almost done setting up my laptop. I installed the essential applications like Slack, 
VS Code, IntelliJ, and Xcode command line tools. Yeah, overall with the M4 MacBook Pro, it's been really responsive. It's snappy. It's pretty nice. And I'm happy to have this new MacBook Pro to, you know, make my work more enjoyable because with a really unresponsive laptop, it is kind of annoying to work with. And also the battery life is crazy good because I stayed at that cafe for around two hours and it only took up like less than 10% of the overall battery. That's a huge thing for me because it keeps me more mobile, not having to find an outlet to charge my laptop all the time. And so I'm happy to see the M4 have really good battery life. Yeah, I'll be driving back home to make some dinner and do some of my own work for the rest of the day.